Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, <coughs> all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get talking about this product. Now you may have just heard that cough and you may be thinking to yourself, Oh no, is the summer seasonal solstice exclusive limited edition character scratchy voice Jason coming back? Potentially, but not because of what you think. Now this is 100% true. Ready for a tale of woe? I told you guys, you know, I'm at rehearsals, I'm doing a play, and um, it's we're rehearsing outdoors, and eventually it'll be an outdoor play. Now outdoors uh, has things, you know, like live things, you know, insects, birds, things like that. I, um, I swallowed a bug, and it... It stung or bit or scratched my uvula, and it it's like swollen now. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but it hits my gag reflex a lot because that is your gag reflex. And literally, I saw this, and this may be gross to say, but when I swallow, it like makes full contact with my tongue, a, like a lot, and it feels like I, there's just something stuck in my throat. And this is awful. I literally just got over a sore throat. And then nature or the universe was like, Oh, no, you don't, buddy boy. Oh, no, you don't. And I didn't, like, swallow a bug in that, like, I was talking and it came in. I took my mask off to go on stage and a bug flew into my mouth. <coughs> <coughs> So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, uh, let's get to talking about this product. This is the other new Pop-Tart flavor. I looked into it, and the three new flavors are the previously discussed uh, Peach Cobbler, this Tropical Mango, and a Banana Cream Pie. I think I, I mistakenly said just Cream Pie, but what's really weird is both... And this is why I thought that this was... We'll get into it. The name of this flavor is Tropical Mango. I don't know if you can see, but at the top here it says Nuevo, which means new in Spanish. And it's the only one of these new three flavors that has that. Now, it's also on the website, so I, at first I thought, oh, maybe it's an international flavor. No, it's just for Tropical Mango it says Nuevo instead of new. Don't know why. They don't, like, it even says probably baked in the USA. This is so weird. It's not, um, there's like a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what? Let me see, because it has, for all of its instructions, it has Spanish underneath it. I wonder if it has it on the other one. I'll be right back. It does. It, it, it does, so that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I don't like artificial mango, as you know, so I don't have high hopes for this. Somewhere on here I wrote where I got it from. Okay, yeah, it was Sunset Markets for three fifteen. Also, I believe that's a lower price than the other one, so this is weird, I'll say. Marketing, everything about it, weird to me. Let's get it out. Also, it's one of these ones that's unfrosted. I don't know if you could tell that, it's just the got the drizzle. Uh, I don't think I've ever had any of the unfrosted ones. So, this will be pretty unique for me. Yeah, look at that. See that? Let's do the crack in half. Give it a smell. Oh, that smells so artificially of mango. And it activated my gag reflex, so that, that um, is being activated on the hair now. Sorry if this is a particularly gross episode. Um, come, come rain or shine, I, I try to record if I can. And though I'm not in the optimal... Um, headspace right now, I can still record, and uh, hopefully you guys don't find it too gross. Let's give this a try. Three, two, one, snack attack. <laughs> Very dry. Doesn't do you good when you have a swollen uvula. 
I fully recommend, uh, recognize that not a lot of people will have a swollen uvula while eating these, so I won't put that in the, <clears throat> in the, like, I won't, that's not how I'll grade this. I will, however, grade it in, it's not very good. It's incredibly artificially mango, and it's incredibly sweet. You know, it actually was easier to record this without a voice than it is, um, <laughs> with what I've got going on right now. <laughs> as such, I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible here. It's incredibly, incredibly sweet, and it's incredibly, incredibly artificial. It's not going to be a favorite new Pop-Tart of mine at all. I even like the other one, which I didn't even like very much, the Peach Gobbler. I like that more than this. This is a no-go for me. That being said, I have seen from a lot of your comments on, like, the mango um, gummy bears from, from ages ago and a couple other things that some people really do enjoy that artificial mango flavor. If you do, I could see you liking this. That also being said, and this is for you, editor, on the Pop-Tarts official website, there is only two reviews for this particular flavor, and one is uncharitable in saying that it's too sweet and too artificial, but they also make it very clear that they don't have a lot of the Pop-Tart flavors. Uh, yeah, if you put that up, thank you. Um, for me, though, it's still going to be a snack tech pass, though out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. It's really... Not having that frosting, it just shows you how really, really dry Pop-Tarts really are, and that's not fantastic. This isn't even one that I would want to put in the freezer or anything. Like, I don't want to eat more of the peach cobbler, and I don't want to eat more of this, but of the two of them, I would eat the peach cobbler over this any day of the week. I have not found the banana <clears throat> pie, meringue, banana cream pie one yet though so i'm still eagle eye on that one just haven't found it yet but the question we ask around here is not have you had any of the unfrosted palm tarts and are any of them any good no it's would you <clears throat> sorry gosh swallowing sucks for the for, for the longest time while i was at rehearsals um uh, the rehearsal I thought that the bug was like hanging on for dear life and then I was like, man, it's like, a, that's a long time. It's only until I got home and like looked in with a flashlight that I was like, oh, it's just swollen. So the, the bug did like a hit and run. I don't know why he swallowed a fly. Perhaps he'll die. But remember, check Instagram, TikTok, we are, I, I are, we are. The Snack Tackers team is releasing content there. Some of it's really funny. There's a there's a Skittles one. I don't know if the editor knows how to embed a bit of it over here. Maybe? Editor, do you know how to do that? This is giving time for that to happen. Because we own the content, so it can be it can be put up in its entirety. Yeah. Look at that. That's funny, isn't it? I don't know if it's been over for a while or not. It's really hard to do these things. Producer, it feels like this should be your job. No? You're, you're bug wrangler right now. Because I have like a, 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 a very... Uh, like a fear of bugs now. I mean, I had a fear of bugs before, but now I have a, a higher fear of bugs. Okay, well, I appreciate that. I don't see any bugs on the set, so that's nice. Yeah, 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 keep doing your job. I'll see you in the next one! That ending really got away from me. I mean, this whole thing, I, I can barely... <laughs>